Hey guys, um, so my name is Esther and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about how I got a 5 on my AP Chemistry. Um, so I took the exam in 2015, which I know seems like ages ago. Yes, the exam changes here and there, but the way you approach the exam will always be the same. Um, so a little bit about my school. We had to do the AP Chem and Grade 12 Chem in the same year. So there was a lot of new information that we had to process and be able to apply in a really short amount of time. Plus, when I was in grade 12, there was a strike at the beginning of the year, so yay. So let's just talk a little bit about what you should constantly be doing in class to minimize any like pre-exam stress cramming because you really want to just be able to know all your material. So that before the exam, you're just revising little things here and there, making sure that you know the specifics of things. So lots of hard work, good habits throughout the year, make for happy exam times. Um, so the first thing, your notes. It is so, so, so important that you can actually study from your notes. So many friends that have these gorgeous notes, they can't study from it. Write things the way you want to write them. Don't just copy whatever your teacher's writing on the board because everybody else is because it's not useful to you, you're just going to struggle in the end. Um, if you have like any super hard concepts that suddenly you have an epiphany and you know how it works, write word for word exactly how you remember understanding it because those hard concepts, when you leave them for a little while and come back, they will be hard again. And if that word for word sentence helped you understand it once, it will help again. And Although during the moment you're like, yes, I know it, I know it, I know it, it makes sense. Um, they, trust me, there will be a time where you're just like, I have no clue what's happening. How did I understand this before? So notes, make sure you're on top of your notes. Um, next thing is your labs. We get to do a bunch of different labs in AP Chem. Um, most of which, like, I was never a huge fan of the labs to be very honest, um, but they are very important. They do actually help. Um, I don't like the labs, but I will admit they help. They help you with a lot of like acid base and equilibrium questions where it's quite hard to visualize at the beginning. So when you actually do the lab, it helps you with the calculations. It helps you be able to visualize, okay, what am I actually adding? What's happening in the reaction? And then you just be able to visualize it more, which helps in the exam. Plus, um, some of the written questions in the exams might ask you to create an experiment and most of the times those experiments are the labs you've done before um, so if you pay attention in class really know what you're doing in the labs um, when the exam comes and you have to create an experiment you already know because literally you could just write word for word what you did in that lab and you'll be absolutely fine um, so make notes on the labs make sure you keep your labs I have a lot of friends that didn't think that the labs were important, um, did them, submitted their reports and everything, but to not to keep them, I'm a note hoarder. Um, I keep everything until after the exam because even those little scraps of papers that you write little notes on, um, you might not think that they make sense or you might not think that they're important, but when you're in exam mode, you don't know what your brain is gonna be looking for and you might be studying and suddenly think, oh, where's that piece of paper from that question that I did because I need to have that information. Um, just keep, I keep all of my notes, all of my scraps, everything, and might as well. You can always recycle them after the exam. Next thing, close friends. So don't try to do this alone. Like it is a lot. It's a lot of material. It's a lot to do, distress. You have other AP exams. Have close friends in your class where you can just talk to them when you don't understand something because you guys all went to the same lessons. Um, likely you guys are in the same class, you had the same teacher, you heard the same things. And there are sometimes little things you're uncertain about that you're like, oh, this doesn't really warrant me going to the teacher or it might be a weekend so you don't have access to your teacher. Literally to have a friend in the same class that you can just call up and just talk to and like bounce ideas off or like talk your way through it Best thing ever if there's a topic that you're confident in and someone else is not 
offer to help them, help them with your questions, teach it to them. Teaching is the best way to solidify your learning. Um, when you can teach it to someone, it means that you know it. Um, I've mentioned here and there questions, 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 questions galore. Um, do as many questions as you can, get your hands on all your questions, but in terms of AP questions, I would recommend saving the most recent past exam. Don't touch those questions, leave them alone because right before your exam, you will want to do a mock where you just sit down and you pretend that it's the real exam and you want the latest questions for those. You want it to be as close to the exam as possible. So I would recommend um, starting with the second most recent paper, go through those questions a bit and just work your way back. Like, I took my exam in 2015, but I was doing questions by the end that were on my teacher's AP chemistry, which was like 19, don't know what, 1980 something, I think. Like I went really far back. Um, there's no harm in it. They are still AP questions. Yes, they will be less similar to the questions that will be on your exam, but you've already done a lot of questions by that point that are similar to your exam and now at that point in time you want questions that are different that will make you look at the con same concepts from different angles if you know the concepts and you can approach them from different angles no matter what question they throw at you in the exam you'll probably be able to think your way out of it um, and find other books like especially when you're learning Hebden is an amazing book it's a really weird book I think like the only thing I really remember from that book was one loads of questions like a ton load like you will not be able to finish all the questions in Hebden but it's amazing if there's one section where you're kind of like I really just need to sit down and do question after question on it um but I remember they're telling us like hard water like when if you're in an area with hard water you have to use expensive soap um, to counteract the, min the extra minerals in the water. I was just like, this is the weirdest thing ever happened. Why in the world are you telling me this? But yeah, amazing book. Um, and also periodic table. Um, so many people will tell you that you're, for the periodic table, you have to memorize it. You have to, like that's the only way. I disagree. Um, I didn't memorize the periodic table. If you do enough questions, you will realize which elements come up the most and you're just gonna remember it like it will come naturally there's no reason to sit there and memorize it if that's the way that works for you fine that's not the way that works for me um, by the end of the exam I probably knew by heart most of the periodic table but I didn't sit down and memorize it I just knew it because I had to do questions after questions but keep your periodic table and your data booklet near you all the time it should be in your folder because that's what's on your exam, you might as well get familiar with it. You should know where every single equation is on that data table before you go into the exam. The last thing you want is to be flipping around your data book during the exam trying to find an equation. Um, yeah, so that's before the exam, during class, all the time. You should be doing all of those things. Um, I, for the exam in particular, I got a revision booklet. I got five steps to a five, um, which I really like. There are so many out there. Go to a bookstore, flip through them, make sure that that's the one you want. Don't bother with multiple ones because they all have the same content in different formats. Find the one that works for you, read reviews, but get your book early. Um, you should be getting it like now for me. Um, get familiar with it, read, the, read through it, make notes on it. My tip, top tip for revision booklets is it's already condensed notes but make one page note one page of notes for each of the topics in the revision booklet that way right before the exam when you don't want all of this information bombarding you like you have so much you can't go through all your resources right before the exam so one page note for every topic in the book that way you have it in the most condensed form possible and it's something that you made yourself so you're comfortable with it you know what's in it you know where everything is and that will be your main study guide for right before the exam um, and in terms of the day of the exam what I did was I made I took all my one page notes and I made one page of notes not not your little cheat sheets that you've been using where you like write it as small as possible to fit as much as on one page as possible 
normal writing, one page, the essential information that you need. And that is what you bring the day of the exam. When everybody else is cramming and flipping through books right before the exam, you're gonna take yourself aside, you can calm yourself down, and you're just gonna go over that one page because by that point in time, you've done so much revision, you've done so many questions, just have faith that you know it, and that one page is just there, not because you need it, but just because everybody has something in their hands and they're flipping through notes, you will want something as well, and at least you know you have one page of solid notes that you know will help you for the exam. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the videos or found them useful, please remember to subscribe to our videos here. Um, and if you are ever in need of any one-to-one -one tuition with either myself or anyone on our team, please click on the link in the description below. Thank you again for watching. Teaching is the best way to solve the books. And then in the exam, if that same thing happens, if you get to a concept where you can't really talk your way out of it, you talk your way out of it. Um...